Uh, Chris in New York joins us. Hi, Chris. What's on your mind? Hey, here's my pal. As we talk the world of sports, Brad, Dan, how are you? Hey, Chris. Good to talk to you. Chris Russo here. Good to talk to you, too. And uh, let me tell you something. The uh, blame of this giant organization for squarely on ownership. Now, I don't want to yell about Jerry Reitz. I mean, you can only draft the players. You can't get in their minds between the years. I talked to Cole Banks yesterday who said, you guys keep weird mistakes, weird and ugly head day after day. If you don't clean them up in August, you won't get them cleaned up. You had a third and four yesterday. DJ Fluker jumps offside, becomes a third and nine. And there's Manning Gang strip sack. Now, this is a team that, and Dan, you know it as well as I, two years ago, they were getting to a pinnacle with Crawford as the head coach. You had Magadoo. What did he, did he, dumb, did he do as the offensive coordinator? You make the change there in the offseason. Now, here's a guy who excelled as an offensive coordinator, and you have a Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame head coach that you decide to cut loose. In the offseason, the team, from that point on, offensively, has been struggling. I mean, they beat the Saints last year, 7-3, mired by a Saints team that couldn't get out of the way coming to New York, a Browns team that hadn't won a game, a Lambs team in England who didn't even have a Keenum quarterback in them, winning by 3-7 to seven points in four other games. We could go on and on. So this, this started unraveling last year, that 11-5 matched a team now, let me tell you something. If Coughlin is the coach last year, maybe that team, maybe that team uh, threatens to win a Super Bowl. You know, it was every five years. You okay. know what, look? <clears throat> All right, we're back. Dan, how are you? Hey, uh, I hear you're retiring, Mike, in a month. Uh, Got to be pretty emotional. Uh, uh, well, in fact, Mike, come on. you got to stick around. You can't retire with the belts. I took, I took a call yesterday from a Sylvester. You believe this? I, this guy waits on hold an hour and a half, Sylvester in Westchester. You know what he says? He goes, hey, you're, you're right. How you do it? You know, you can't, like, retire. Man. You got, like, the belt. Or you got, like, all these other guys coming after you. Man. Like, you got to decide how hard you can hit, but how hard you can take a hit and keep on going. That's the wins on And that's, that's an excellent point, Mike. I could just walk away when you... Listen, I've done everything I had to do, Okay. I invented Ray Arrow, okay? <laughs> I, uh, look, listen, folks. Uh, Is there any chance you I, and uh, Mad Dog are going to get back together, Mike? Uh, uh, man, I've been trying to get it. Dog, dog, annoy, dog uh, listen, I, was, I want to strangle him. If you watched the 29 for 29, you, you would have seen that dog. Uh, you would have seen that Mikey wanted to go after me two, three, four times. Especially, Mike, Mike, tell Dan about the trip out from San Francisco. This was in 90 when the Giants went out to San Francisco. The whole plane ride down to Florida and Tampa because we didn't have the Tampa because we didn't have the week off. We didn't have the two-week bye. We played the Super Bowl that year. We didn't go out on the go floor. And Mikey wanted to strangle me. I had to sit in the cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, dog, dog. And then the dopey dog does the same thing when the Knicks are playing the Rockets, okay, in the championship. And I have the audacity to say, you know, the Knicks are going to wrap this thing up. And dog says, I want to go seven games. We can't get more basketballs. Dog is the nut that he is, okay. Uh, I will be doing a show all day with a headset, okay? Hey, Mike, uh, it's close kind of a show. Okay. It's uh, it's it's. Uh, I'm gonna miss you, and uh, and I wish you luck in uh, in your future, hey. and uh, and I hope you stay in touch. That'd be nice, you and Chris. I hope hey, you listen. stay in touch. Mike, Mike, I think what we should do is, Mike, we should do a musical this winter. How about that? <laughs> How about a little music? Can we get uh, can we get the little Dan Edson here? And a little uh, hope to cool. How about a little summer loving, Mike? Come on, let me get into this. <coughs> <laughs> Hi, it's Gary. I'm going to produce it <laughs> on vinyl. <laughs> All right, come on, Mike. Summer loving uh, happened so fast. Where did it go, Mike? All right, go uh, Summer loving. Okay. Have me a blast, okay? Oh, Mike, I met a uh, disc jockey like you, crazy for me. <laughs> I met a dog who was as cute as could be. <laughs> That's Pucci. All right, uh, summer fun. Uh, something's begun. Oh, uh, oh, that's the film. All right, all right, all right, all right. Tell me more, Mike. Tell me more, tell me more. Hey, hey, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Chris. And uh, and we wish you the best of luck. It's uh, Mike Francesa, Chris Russo. How great is it to hear them together again? <laughs> yeah, really? They haven't missed a beat. Good job, Fritzy. Yeah. Good I thought stuff. it was a 30 for 30, but it's a 29 for 29 that uh, they did on Mike and the Bad Dog. You've got Mike Francesa, Mike and Mike. I'll bring up. Maybe there's going to be a new Mike and Mike with Mike, Mike and Trey, and then Mike and Mike. 
So you could have can Big Mike, that. Little Mike, and, and then the Mike, and then and then Trey Wingo, and then Mike, Mike, and Mike, 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 Mike. 